good morning everyone i have just woken up and i'm gonna start with my morning skincare routine so the first product i am taking is the burt's bees cleansing oil i'm taking that onto my face dry just because i feel like it sinks into the skin better so i'm rubbing that in gently and then i'm gonna rinse it off right after and wow this is such an attractive angle. Um, just like the Neutrogena commercials, absolutely flawless. Splash! So I'm patting my skin dry, and then we're getting ready for a double cleanse. I'm going in with a Kojic Acid Soap Bar. This really helps with hyperpigmentation and acne scars. So again, just rubbing that on all over my face and then rinsing off, then patting my skin dry once again. Now that our face is clean, the last step for this morning is to put on this green tea face mask. Now I don't normally use a face mask every morning, but I decided to do it today. And yeah, we're gonna leave that on for around 15 to 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I took it off. And as you can see, the serum is left over on my face. So I'm just going to work that in, lightly tapping and rubbing it in so that my face is moisturized and glowy throughout the whole day. And yeah, that's it for this morning. Okay everyone, so it is now night time, so we're getting ready to do this skincare routine. So first thing I'm doing is taking a hairband and pushing my hair back to get it all out of the way. Now that that's done, we're gonna take off my glasses. Look like Sid the Sloth. There for a second, but yeah, it's okay. So again, I'm going back in with my cleansing oil from Burt's Bees and using it on a dry face like I did in the morning. And obviously just rubbing it in gently all over my face and rinsing it all off. And then I'm going in with my Biore Charcoal Acne Clearing Cleanser. I normally go in with one pump, but I decided to do two. I think it's because I'm filming it. So then I rub it into my skin like any other cleanser, and I realize that I put too much because some of it got into my eyes later on. That's why I'm squinting. But yeah, then I'm taking my Foreo Luna Mini and I wet it just so that the cleanser emulsifies better onto my skin. And just gently using that all over my face and rinsing it all off. Then I pat my face dry and yeah, we're ready for serums. So the first one is the niacinamide and zinc solution from The Ordinary. I just drop this all over my face and rub it in gently it's really good for redness if you have acne or um, combination skin so once that has absorbed all into the skin i am going in with my second serum which is the alpha arbutin solution with hyaluronic acid this is really great for Again, hyperpigmentation and scarring, which is a, a problem that I have with my skin. So if you guys have any suggestions for any products that you use, please let me know down below. So now that that's done, we're going to go in with the last serum, I suppose. This is the Mandelic Acid from The Ordinary. And this is an acid treatment, so I just drop some of this on the back of my hand and gently tap on my target areas. So basically where it has the most scarring or the darkest pigmentation that I have. And yeah, look at that, awesome. So then we're gonna go in with moisturizer. So this is the moisturizing factors from The Ordinary. As you can tell, I really love their brand just because it's so affordable and it's pretty good. So I'm just rubbing that all over my face, trying to be as gentle as possible. 
all right so once the moisturizer has sunk into my skin i'm gonna take a few drops of this facial oil this is the rosehip seed oil from the ordinary and i pat this in just so it doesn't disrupt the moisturizer that i laid down and i just find that this really distributes the product really well and yeah nice and glowy all right, so we're almost done. I am just taking the Mario Badescu drying lotion. Um, this is really good for pimples, and you may have noticed that I have one on the top of the bridge on my nose. So I'm just using a Q-tip and just dabbing on the product. And then the last thing we need is some Vaseline. I don't use this on my face. I'm just using it on my lips. This is just super moisturizing and it prevents me from waking up with chapped lips. And then I clean up the edges with my fingers and we're done. <music>